Hi everybody, uh, thank you for joining us at Metro Ethernet Talk. My name is Vasily Mukin, I'm Solution Architect for Juniper Networks. During the previous session we saw how Junus allows to classify Ethernet frames in e-access virtual connection and assign them with a forwarding class or course label in terms specified by MEF. Classification was based on PCP bits in original customer's frame. Today I'll show you another possible option where classification of the traffic is based on OVC endpoints rather than course marks set by customer. Let's say Uni and Ian and I are connected via OVC which is assigned with course label H. In other words, any traffic in the given OVC should be delivered throughout the network with the highest priority. This approach is much simpler for both Metro service provider as well as its customer. It allows managing SLA in easier manner and allows avoiding a situation when wrong settings in the original customer PCP values causes delivery of some traffic via invalid class with priority lower than expected. Now from switch perspective, when customer frame arrives to Uni, instead of looking into frame's original course marks, PCP, TOS or DCP values, switch classifies frame based on interface logical endpoints attached to the given virtual connection. At the core facing interface switch adds an OVC header to the egress frame with appropriate OVC ID and course mark based on course label assigned to virtual connection. Type of the socket ID and course mark depends on technology used in the core of the Metro network and in our case we use Martini socket ID and MPLS X bit respectively. When a packet reaches node on the other end, it is classified at core interface first, assigned with course label and color, processed according to the service policy and sent out of the ENNI port encapsulated with provider breach Ethernet header and outer S tag. PCP and DI bits value are not prescribed at this point as course label is mapped to OVC ID itself along the virtual connection end to end. And of course, customer header remains unchanged while frame travels from UNI to ANNI, which corresponds to C tag and customer course preservation attributes set to yes. In the opposite direction, classification and rewrite procedures are swapping vice versa. At the ENNI side, all packets are assigned with course label based on OVC logical endpoint at the ENNI. No rewrite rules are applied at UNI side to preserve customer original course marking. In our today exercise, we are using testbed from a previous session. This time, we'll create a new eAccess OVC 888. Connectivity will be enabled by Martini socket established between two nodes connected via MPLS fabric. ACX 5K series router on the left hosts the Uniport, and MX router on the right is configured with ENI. First, let's create an additional endpoints for the new OVC. As soon as EVC multiplexing is enabled, I can create logical units 888 at the same physical ports which were already used for OVC 555 in the course of the previous sessions. Configuration is similar to what we did before. Uh, now I'm configuring Martini L2 socket at both sides. Configuration for the UNI and ENNI are slightly different and we have discussed in our first session for e-access. Alright, endpoints are there and virtual socket control plane is up and running. Let's proceed with configuration of class of service. Just a reminder, we have already five forwarding classes configured. Classes high, medium and low stands for MEF course labels H, M and L. From our previous session we also have a classifier already assigned to Uniport. Due to ACX router specifics only a single classifier can be applied to the port which defines course behavior for any logical unit configured under this physical port. But in fact, this is something we need to overcome in our case, because we want the new OVC uses different logic for assigning frames to forwarding classes. For these purposes, we can explicitly assign a forwarding class to the logical unit. 
In our case, we want OVC 888A to be classified as a high priority OVC, thus it is assigned with the forwarding class high. Now both course models specified by MEF can coexist under the same uni port. A MAX router allows to assign an individual classifier per unit, but I prefer to use the same configuration we use in ACX to achieve desired behavior. No changes are required at core facing interfaces. At this point we are done with calls configuration, but before we send any traffic to the network I want to enable special counters at ENI endpoint, so at later time we'll be able to see how actually packets are classified and forwarded in the network. After committing configurations on both nodes, we are ready to go and send some traffic to the network. From both ends I am sending traffic with a mix of PCP bits. Flows are tracked on per PCP basis and 500 frames are sent each directions in total. As expected, we have no losses, all 500 packets were delivered in both directions. At the ENNI side, we received a double tag frames with a provider bridge outer header and a stack set to 888. Priority bits of the OVC or S tag are set to 5, which corresponds to course label H. Customer PCP and VLAN ID remains unchanged. From the Uniport, I am also sending a few frames with PCP set to 7 which in previous course model would be classified as invalid frame and delivered with low priority. In a minute we'll see that in the present model these frames are delivered within an SLA. At Unisite we again have no losses, C tag and customer priority is received as expected. Let's make sure that traffic in the OVC is delivered within appropriate forwarding class inside the network itself. As you remember I have a set of counters assigned at the ENNI side for these purposes. From counter starts, we can see that in both directions we have all 500 packets assigned to the forwarding class high, despite the fact some of the customer's frame were assigned with the wrong PCP values. And this is all for today. Uh, till now we used examples where in and I port were configured at the Mac side only. In next session we'll see if ACX series is capable of doing the same. And I will talk about e-transit service flavor. Thank you for staying with us and looking forward to meet you at next Metro Ethernet session.